witches! Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be the third and final part of the three part series called Meditate With Me. Today's video we are going to be combining what you learned in part one and part two and put it into a guided meditation. So this video is going to be quite long, um, maybe about 15 minutes all in all, but it's just going to be complete calmness and I hope you enjoy the meditation that I have prepared for you guys and I hope you all you know get along with it and let me know what you think at the end of the video so let's jump straight into it with no hesitation To begin with, get into a comfortable position. Make sure you're sitting comfortably. Start by taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Breathe in for three, hold for three, release for three. Continue doing this until you feel yourself drift off and become content. Visualize roots coming out the bottom of your feet, burrowing down into the earth and going deeper and deeper until you find yourself at the core. A beautiful piece of amethyst surrounded by bright white light is waiting. Attach your roots around the amethyst and feel its energy. Feel this white light coming up your roots into your feet. Feel the energy go into your ankles and take away any aches or pains that's there. On a deep breath in, feel the light travel up your legs to your knees and your thighs, again taking away any discomfort that you might be in. Feel this divine light fill your body until it reaches your base chakra. You can visualise your chakra any way you'd like to, but for today I'll be describing them as candles. Use the energy from the earth to ignite your base chakra. It may flicker at first or it may instantly become a big healthy flame. If your flame is small, try to balance it. See it become bigger and grow. Stay here for as long as you need. Next, go to your sacral chakra. Like the base, use the light to ignite this chakra and work on it for as long as you need. Once you feel ready to move on, we'll make our way to the solar chakra. Make sure this flame is bright and healthy. Your breathing will help the flame grow, and you can also ask your spirit guides to help you balance them. You're probably familiar with the process now, and continue onto your heart chakra. Now with your throat.
With the third eye, as well as the candle, I like to imagine little doors opening from my forehead as an invitation to work with spirit. Finally, with your crown chakra, allow the flame to grow as big as it can and imagine it produces white, pure smoke that showers you with a cloak of protection and ask your spirit guides for protection too. Now that your chakras are open, you're ready to go further into a meditation. Remember, you don't have to be open to meditate. You're walking down a path barefoot towards the beach. You can feel the ground beneath you. The pebbles are smooth and cool on your feet. You're walking on your own, listening to the rhythm of the ocean. The seabirds cool and you feel the warm, fine sand between your toes. You walk towards the sea and feel the waves stroke your feet and splash up your ankles and legs. The sea is gentle and calm. As you walk down this beach, you notice there is no one around. Complete solitude and peace. You continue to walk down the sands until you see a cliff edge with a small cave. You're not scared or worried by this. You're intrigued. When you go towards it, it invites you. As you climb into this cave, you're greeted by a robin. Follow this robin. Follow him deeper into the cave. As you go deeper into the cave, you feel a cool, shallow stream of water run under your feet, and you hear the trickling of the water run down the cave walls. Robin lands on a rock surrounded by amethyst. You join him, calmly listening to the stream and the ocean waves. You feel content, at peace and in light. Take a moment to listen to the sounds and stay in the cave. Invite your guides near you and take any healing that you need and are given. Talk to your guides, ask for guidance that you need from them and thank them for their presence. I'll leave you here to relax for a while. Focus on your breathing, feel the heating, and relax.
It is now time to return. Thank your guides and your visitors for their help and wisdom. Stand up from your seat and follow the robin to the exit of the cave. As you emerge from the cave, you see the sun is setting over the sea and the waves begin to close in. You're not threatened by them though. She is still calm and as are you. You walk through the little waves back to the pebble path, feeling the cool stones underneath your bare feet again. You walk back into your headspace and you become aware of your breathing. Take a few deep breaths. See the smoke of protection lift from the ground as you begin to close your chakras. See the candle flames become petite and calm. Leave your flames small and bright as you make your way from your crown to your third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and finally your base. Begin to lift your roots from the earth's core, keeping a few to keep you grounded throughout the day. Ask your guides to cut cords and for that bit of protection to stay. Begin to focus on your breathing. A few deep breaths in and a few deep breaths out. And when you're ready, slowly begin to move your fingers and toes and come back into the room. Make sure not to rush out of the meditation as it can make you feel dizzy. Be sure to drink some water once you've returned and take it easy before you start your day again. you guys enjoyed that meditation and let me know how you felt and whether you got anything or whether you bought anything back from that meditation in the comments below. Um, I hope that it released any stress that you might have had, anything built up and I hope the best for everyone. Please let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to learn about or you would like me to talk about. It could be my experiences in the witchcraft world, it could be um, different types of spells that you'd like to learn it could be about a book of shadows anything you'd like to learn please let me know in the comments below i'd really appreciate it and yeah i love you guys stay safe and stay witchy